Hello and welcome to this um, video tutorial. Um, this video tutorial is actually um, a little bit serious and a little bit just for fun, uh, just a little bit of a gimmick. Um, but uh, regardless, if you want to know about how to do um, rounded corners um, in CSS, okay, without any JavaScript or anything like that, um, then this is the video tutorial for you. Um, so I, I thought about just making a kind of serious video about explaining it, but then I thought, no, come on, let's just do something fun instead. Uh, so what you can see um, is this uh, D here on the on, on the screen, okay? Um, now this is purely made up of um, CSS, believe it or not. Uh, there's no images or anything like that. I mean, you can... Uh, it's, it's not a, a text file either. It's nothing more than um, three three boxes as you can see here just all placed together um, just to make a letter D um, using rounded corners and a little bit of adjustment a little bit of a refinement um, uh, to make it so I just thought i would just do something fun um, that's all so what we're going to do is we're going to um, do the uh, CSS coding uh, for it so let's uh, just get rid of it shall we and we'll start again <laughs> all right um, First things first, uh, just a, a little thing to note is that with Internet Explorer, if you ever have any problems with like compatibility and stuff with your websites, I found that um, just let's get rid of this for now. Just adding this one um, line of code to the the head, the meta tag uh, here to the head, um, and then you can uh, then the browser when you load your page will then be um, IE9 compatible. Therefore. Um, you know that you're not going to get any Quercus mode or, or Modus, whatever it's called, uh, and it's not going to support any of your code, especially with JavaScript. This is important, uh, not particularly with um, CSS, but I just thought I'd just chuck that in here here as well. Um, so with this one, we need simple as anything. We need a, um, a CSS um, file, which I just got one layout.css. I just got like a standard name. I always put CSS at. Um, then what we got is a, a div with class rounded, a div with class inner, and div with class inner underscore border. Right, so there's potentially three, um, three div tags. Um, one is the the uppermost parents. The next one is then the the child child of that, and then so on. So it's just three. Whoops, let's not do that. So it's all you really. I mean, there's no, there's no. Um, this doesn't actually do anything, you know, displaying a letter with CSS, it, it means nothing, but it's just a good little gimmick. But it also teaches you how to do um, rounded corners as well, so, and with a little bit of fun. Um, I mean, it's interesting to see which other letters you could do, actually, um, just using CSS. So, first thing we need to do is we need to define um, the actual, well, I, I just started off by um, defining the body. Um, just to give it a nice background, first of all. And, well, I'm just going to use a1, just kind of solid grey, uh, nothing more than that. So it's got a kind of a nice -ish background. Okay, then we have, let's just zoom into this. Then we've got our um, our class rounded. This is actually going to be the main um, outer of the D, uh, okay, that we're going to shape, well, which we're going to have. And we want, uh, we want this to potentially be um, relatively um, big but obviously it doesn't want to be square it wants to be more um, a rectangle shapes and stuff so we're just going to make it um, 200 pixels um, by height of 300 pixels okay and for this for starting off we're going to give it a border of uh, 5 pixels solid spolid if we want as well and we're just going to say green yellow it was I believe yeah, that was it, I think. So there we go. Okay, there's our um, green yellow border, and it's then, let's get rid of that down. It's then, um, yeah, five pixels, and then it's 200 by 300. So we've got this vertical thing. So now what we want to do is now just chuck it to the center, and we're just going to put, like, say, 40 pixels margin top just to push it down a little bit, and then um, margin right auto, margin left, just to chuck it in the center. Okay, so there we go. We just chucked it in the center a little bit. All right. Okay. Next thing that we want to do is we want to round this corner here down, and then round this one down. Okay. Well, we know that the height is 300. Therefore, we want to have 150. So if we drew a line across here, uh, potentially, we know that's where the curve needs to go, and the curve needs to come 
kind of in the middle therefore we want to start at 100 and go round to 150 okay so that's where we want the curve so what we've got to do on here is to do um, to do rounded corners you've got this property you obviously have to assign first of all a, a border to it and we can use um, border radius in a couple of ways we can say border top and then right is the first one we're going to do and just radius okay this is just specifically going on the border top right radius itself okay and that can take two um, properties okay so it's then um, the X and then the Y okay so we're gonna then let's just shape this one um, at the X of 20 and then the Y of 150 and come around and show you this so as you can see um, the X has hardly been um, cornered off okay but then the Y has been cornered down a lot obviously the curve um, isn't much but you can see that it's not really curved anything on the top but it started curving on the or on the Y okay so let's just put this to 150 because I know that's what the um, setting was and let's change this again okay now you see we get this nice rounded corner and so on and just for the sake and purposes of, of doing this just if you think that it doesn't happen let's just turn JavaScript up, off just to so it's off now just to show you that we're doing this with just um, CSS so let's do the same to the bottom so the border bottom right radius so let's just change this border right radius and we change it to 150 as well okay so now we can see um, that we get this one this one curve now I'm not going to fill this um, with any color because what I want to do is I want to have the middle bit like kind of mask so it stays with the, c the same color as the background um, so you can actually see through it it's a see-through effect um, like transparency as such so the inside what we're going to do is we're going to we've got this then inner which is then going to draw this inner um, bit for the D the hole okay now we'll show you another method of doing the border uh, radius in another form because there's actually two forms of doing it um, but so I've already got this this div tag with inside of it now we just have to shape it so we we know that we want to basically kind of come out we want like about 50 uh, 50 um, size of mu um, like the the inner of the D as such we want 50 coming to here and then around to here so it wants to be kind of 50 all the way around so therefore we know that um, we want to make the border like 50 because we're going to use the border for it to actually make the um, the content as such the color so we're going to say um, width equals auto for the time being height equals auto and then we're going to say border and then we're going to say 50 or 40 actually and then solids and then we're going to just put it to white okay and see what this does okay as you can see it's now there because that's potentially the div tag is nothing and it's just got 40 top 40 left 40 right um, and so on because it's auto width it's then gone um, to um, the width of 300 okay and we can show you this in here so the box actually was uh, a width of 122 then with a height of 1 and then border 39 39 and so on okay so we now know that we've got the width of 200 and then we've got the height of 300 therefore if we put a border on the top and the border on the bottom then we've got to be 220 in height okay and then we know that um, width so we've got two we've got the border left is 40 and border right is 40 therefore um, we want to be 120 and why did I put that there I want 220 okay so that wants to be 220 therefore now um, we should get a bit of a change good stuff okay so now we've got this box underneath right but as you can see it's like kind of sticking out over the border so we want to we want to hide this okay so what we can do is on um, the rounded is just say overflow and just say hidden okay nothing more than that and then anything that goes over the top is going to be hidden but now that kind of knocks out our nice rounded edge edge type thing and we can see down here look there's a little bit white bit here that's kind of um, not sticking over it as much so let's just go ahead and make our, our box whoops 200 and, oh no we want that 200 let's go and make this and we'll boost it up by two okay width and height by two just so it covers it completely 
all right so we're we're underneath the border now what we want to do is then curve um, the the top the the top right border radius but we um, we won't do it this w the the way we did it last time what we're going to do is we're going to say border radius okay and this comes in two forms okay so if we go um, it goes top left top right bottom le bottom right excuse me and then it goes bottom left okay and then it can take a forward slash as well okay it can go top left top right bottom right bottom left okay so now this is the x axis and, and then this is the y axis for top left once again once again once again once again once again once again so everything on the left hand side is the x axis and everything on the right hand side is the y axis now if you don't declare this bit then the this one will then be the x and y x and y x and y x and y and so forth okay so we know that we want to have we want to potentially have um, we want to have 150 on the um, top right yeah top right of it so we need to go um, top left is zero okay and top left is zero so let's just put that to pixels so we're doing it systematically okay then we want to so we've got then the top right we've got the bottom right so next we want to say 150 and then we know the um, bottom left which is the last one okay because it goes around in in a clockwise motion starting off at the top left hand side so it goes top left top right bottom right bottom left so now we know that we want 150 on here and here I mean although it's one line short uh, so it's one line it's kind of a lot kind of clearer to read it like that so once you've written it like this as such then you can just go ahead and do like a shorthand version of it and so on or just comment out um, the long but I mean it, it's not gonna make a huge difference loading three more lines or two more lines for the browser so I wouldn't really worry about it too much I would personally go ahead and use it this way because it's more explicit for you to understand what's doing what um, okay so let's now um, we want border yeah that's that and let's save this okay now we can see that um, it's all kind of worked out fine but this this border here is kind of too much if you know what I mean and this needs to go in slightly and this one as well here down the bottom it's just not covering perfectly so let's now we because then we've said that's now too much of a curve we now need to say um, Oh, sorry about that. My phone just rang. I had to just quickly answer it. Um, right, where were we, Dave? Right, so we've got to reduce this down um, so that the curve is smaller. So let's just chuck this at um, 145 at the moment on, th on the top one and see how that pans out. Okay. Okay. So now we see that the top one is all gone and the bottom one seems to be kind of fine. But let's just knock it down anyway um, to 145 just to see how it is. All right. Okay, it looks a lot better to me now. Okay, so that's <coughs> that's um, that bit done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the little border on the inside just to make it kind of correct as such. So this is potentially relatively easy. Um, you know, it's not not hugely difficult, but all we've got to do potentially is copy this one, okay? Because this is the one um, which we kind of want. All right, so we're just going to say then. All right, let's just take this. Say inner border and <coughs> now all we got to do is take off well we've got 80 on here so we can then have uh, 42 on this okay um, let me think let me think let me think let me think so, yeah yeah width it would be then the innermost actually no because that's just a border that's the actual width so um, we can potentially just keep it the same width as of this, all right? Because the border, the width of the box is still the same, and we're just uh, um, going to reduce down um, the the size of this, okay? The size of the border. So let's just have a look at it like this for now, okay? Margin, um, we don't want margin top. We don't want any margin on it at all. And then border top uh, radius. Well, we don't want any. Um, yeah, we want it on the right still, and we're going to need to reduce this down as well. But for the time being, let's just have a look how this goes. Okay, so as you can see, it's too high, okay, and it's too uh, it's, too, it's too tall, and it's too uh, wide. 
Okay, so let's now uh, knock down the width. Let's say down to 115 first of all, and then say down to 215 just to round it off. And let's see what that size. Okay, that brings it down nice. Then once again, all we've got to do is round this one uh, top right corner off. Therefore, top right was then 145. And let's just round this down to 145 again. Let's see how this is. Oh, it could go even further. I don't know whether you saw that. Look, you still see a little bit of grey in there. Let's say 142. And then 142. Let's see how that turns out. Okay, it looks all right. Okay. Oh, I can. Yeah, that looks fine to me. Okay, but that's that's potentially that's potentially it. it. It's nothing more than that. So if if we just wanted just to play around, curve these two corners round as well, then we could just say on the outer one, we could just say, um, let's just take this and put this down here, and pull it say, border top uh, left and border bottom left radius and we'll just, just say oh, let's give it 10 come on let's be outrageous shall we and just do left so we're now we're gonna the top left and the bottom right we're gonna um, give them a radius as well okay so now we rounded it off nice and let's round off these inner ones as well shall we and then that's the inner that's then the um, the inner border so we want to do this and that's good and then just come back to here again and then we round them off but look we need to round off the borders inside now that doesn't work that's inside yeah that would be fine so what we need to do is need to border off the inside I'm gonna work so well that let me think about this that's the border. Yeah, that would work. Okay, so the inner, we then need to, we do need to curve these off as well. Okay, the inner one, because let's just see how that works first. Ah, no, so it went to the outside. It's not curving the inside, is it? Which is not good. All right, so then we need to remove this. I mean, potentially, we're just li li literally playing around now. So we just make this one a bit bigger. Let's take it back to 120 and take it to 220. Um, yeah okay but it, it's just messing around now potentially so I think I think you got the idea let's just put that back just so you can see the final final thing and we don't want that there so where has it gone there it is okay there it is so that's that's potentially um, borders uh, border radiuses and making um, rounded corners simple as that okay there's a, a whole bunch of other things that you can do with it as well I mean there's a massive amount of things you can do with it um, but you just have to have a look have a research about it but there we go that's rounded corners for you um, that's that's me really nothing more if you haven't um, seen um, yeah what's going on here then oh yeah I turned JavaScript off that's why okay if you don't know who I am and you've just found the the video from um, from somewhere on Facebook or, or whatever um, then my name's um, David Thorne and you can find me um, on YouTube and uh, yeah so um, from under Thorne Web Design uh, it's been a pleasure okay it's just been a kind of bit of a joke with a little bit of seriousness, seriousness um, doing this rounded corners but it's not a particularly hugely interesting topic therefore I thought we'd just do a little bit of playing around with it okay I hope you learned something um, you should have learned about um, round uh, border radius now either border top uh, right radius and so on there's two different ways um, but you can look on W3 schools um, about it you can google um, border dash radius w3 schools and it's all it's all listed there about it or just google um, border radius okay CSS um, and so on okay it's um, supported in all browsers so you shouldn't have any worries there alright that's it thanks very much for watching and I wish you a nice day bye